Dear user, you have purchased ST402 Cayman, a principally new nonlinear junction detector. The ST402 Cayman is a principally new nonlinear junction detector designed for detection of different types of GSM transmitters, electronic devices, either turned on or off. This video manual contains important technical information and guidance on proper use of the product. Device ST402 Cayman is intended to detect and locate eavesdropping electronics, mobile phones and SIM cards, any other devices utilizing semiconductor technology. ST402 Cayman allows detecting electronic devices, whether active or not, as well as finding their exact location. It also enables one to distinguish between return signals from real semiconductors and other kinds of responses, such as those given by corrosion or metal oxide met metal structures. The delivery set contains following C402K and nonlinear junction detector, accumulator battery, charger, power adapter, ele electric charger, headphones, semiconductor imitating dummy, marked red, MOM structure imitating dummy marked blue, operating manual and the shock proof case. Please note that the headphones are located underneath the device in a shock proof case. Main technical characteristics. The range of radiated frequencies is from 2 to 3 gigahertz. Maximum peak radiated power is less than 2 watts. Antenna polarization is elliptic. Operation modes search, audio, adapt. Sensitivity range in manual mode 40 decibels. Five values with five, 8 decibel increment. Response indication visual, oral, free 16 segment LED gauge bars. It, it has also external speakers as well as it can work from, through the earphones. Power supply is from two 3.7 volt rechargeable Leon batteries type 18 650. Time of operation on one battery charge 3-4 hours depending on the operation mode. Battery charging time less than 3 hours. Operating conditions from plus 5 to plus 40 Celsius. Relative humidity up to 85% at 25 degrees. Weight is approximately 2 kilograms. Dimensions are shown in the manual or below. Weight of full set in case less than 6 kilograms. The principles of operation of Cayman nonlinear junction detectors or NLGDs. These instruments of this type employ active detection in example they emit probing signals and analyze the return. Their primary search targets are electronic devices and those typically consist of circuit plates with conductive elements and various semiconductor parts connected to them, such as diodes, transistors and microchips. The program electromagnetic radiation induces variable electromotive forces in these loops and electronic components with nonlinear current voltage curve transform the initial signal into its higher frequency harmonics which come back to the NLGD's receiver. Higher harmonics can also be re-radiated by corroded metal or the so-called MOM diodes, metal oxide metal structures, brought about by contacting metal surfaces. However, these formations return somewhat different spectra than semiconductors. With Cayman nonlinear junction detector, one can distinguish with high probability between responses given by real semiconductors and those faked by MOM structures or corrosion. Another important advantage is a 
confident detection of search targets behind partially shielding obstacles, which is achieved by simultaneously radiating several frequencies within the 2 to 3 GHz band and analyzing the composite picture of the reflection spectrum. The purpose of Cayman nonlinear junction de detector is that it's intended to detect and locate eavesdropping electronics, mobile phones and SIM cards, any other devices utilizing semiconductor technology. Cayman nonlinear junction detectors allows detecting electronic devices, whether active or not, as well as finding their exact location. It also enables one to distinguish between return signals from real semiconductors and other kinds of responses, such as those given by corrosion or metal oxide metal structures. Cayman nonlinear junction detector modes of operation. First one is search, secondary operation mode is audio, and the third one is adapt. The main operation mode named search is meant for detection detecting nonlinear targets and identifying them based on the response levels as indicated by 16 segment bars. The auxiliary operation mode named audio allows demodulating the response and listening to it through the built-in speaker or headphones. The use of this mode upon detecting a response in the search mode. The adapt service mode is used to optimize the parameters of a given electromagnetic environment and thus maximize the effectiveness of search. Engaging this mode is necessary every time the device is switched on. It is advisable to pause during searches from time to time to repeat this procedure. During adaptation, the antenna must be pointed away from the electronics and large metal objects. So, on the exterior of the device, we have a tumbler to turn the device on. We have audio jack for headphones. On the other side, we have a built-in speaker. On the handle, we have three buttons. One to control the mode of operation, whether it's audio or search mode. Also, it's uh, for calibration mode, which we need to hold for three seconds and then do the calibration. Up or down keys, uh, we have up or down keys over here, is to control the channel of audio. To open up the device, we must undo the holder, the middle one. Take out the antenna, take it out, fixate in one place and the device is almost ready for work. For, uh, to prepare it for work we must insert the batteries. In this case we have this holder for the battery compartment. The device operates from two batteries, accumulator batteries, which are inserted the correct way is plus it goes in. Afterwards, another battery goes in, and the plus goes in side. We have this holder, metallic holder, to tighten the battery compartment. And the device is, all, is ready for work. Again, working with the device, you need to turn the tumbler of the device on. You can see the distinctive sound that the device is working. Now, I'll show you with the antenna. This is how it, how it looks. We have power, search, audio, uh, five channels of sensitivity. We have red gauge, blue gauge, and white gauge, which are described in the manual. You can open up a manual and read their descriptions of what we are for. Now, to prepare the device for work, we must point the device towards some sort of area where there is no MOM structures or semiconductor components present. Usually it's just a portion of the floor 
or ceiling or you can even go out into the yard and do the calibration. Now to do the calibration you need to press the middle button and hold it for a couple of seconds. As you can see all the LEDs light up, red, blue and white and the sensitivity gauge goes from 1 to 5 and here you are. You're